welcome back guys to another video. My name is Mitch and today we're going to be tracking animal tracks and seeing what animals we can find. And this is my lovely assistant Catherine who's going to help me to, to identify them. Alright, so let's go. So we found our first tracks here at camp and these are white-tailed deer tracks. They're the most numerous and abundant large mammal creatures that we have in North America and here at camp. The deer's diets consist of many leafy materials such as grasses and herbs and woody plants as well as strawberries and mushrooms. And deers fatten themselves up in the winter more deep snow and less greenery. They do this as there is a competition for nutrition in these winter times. Those are the tracks that we found. Let's keep going see what else we can find. The next tracks that we have found are actually Eastern Cottontail Rabbit tracks. Eastern Cottontail Rabbits are active only at dusk and dawn, so we don't see them very often when we're doing activities here at camp. And during the winter season, spend most of the time hidden underneath snow. So, do you guys hear that sound? Well, that is the sound of the chickadee. The chickadee are very small birds that are usually black and white and they have 15 different calls that they make with their flock mates and their offspring that they use to communicate. Chickadees are easily one of the most important exterminators here in the forest as they eat many different types of insect eggs, larvae, weevils, lice. So let's continue and see what else we can find. So good job guys, we found another set of tracks. These are Eastern Grey Scroll tracks. These are very hardy dispositions and they will eat anything that they find. This includes things such as berries, pine cones, and insects. And one of the most distinctive features of squirrels are the large bushy tails. They use these tails to communicate, to fend off predators by enlarging it, and also to help them with their balance. So, good job guys. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. All right, so the last tracks that we found are beaver tracks. Annually, beavers cut about 216 trees, and they cut these trees that are the size of 40 centimeters in diameter. Beavers do not just cut down trees to build the homes, which we call lodges, but they also cut them down because the bark and the trees act as a nutrient-rich supply that they use for food. Due to the open environment here at camp, a lot of beavers tend to make their homes lodges here. The trapping and trading of beaver pelts is one of the biggest driving forces into European expansion right here in Canada and is largely responsible for the disintegration of relationships between European settlers and Canadian indigenous people. Thank you guys for coming with us on the little hike. I hope you learned a lot. Join us next week for our next video. We'll be learning life as an OE staff. Stay tuned.